But number one, I am very proud of myself for waiting this long. And second of all, I'm really excited to see if this turns out. So let's see. I want to thank you for all of the comments that you left on last week's video. They really helped me come to this decision. My name is Christina and I'm a DIY and decor blogger at thediymommy.com. Ever since we renovated our first camper in 2017, our family has loved camping. With the hope that we'll make memories in this new to us 2007 Jayco fifth wheel one day soon, I'm diving into a new camper renovation head first. Follow along with me as I share the whole journey of our DIY camper 2.0. Hey guys, it is week three of the camper renovation and I got a lot done this week and it mostly has to do with paint. I am so excited that I have a sponsor for a kitchen video for the camper where I'm going to share with you all of the details on exactly how I am painting the kitchen cabinets in here and do a before and after, all the techniques, the prep, the paint and everything. I'm very excited for this sponsor because I would 100% be using their product anyhow and the fact that they are sponsoring this video coming up means that I'm going to be able to do some things now with this renovation that perhaps I might not have been able to do before. So you can see a sneak peek behind me here of how the everything is already looking light and bright even though it's dusk here, it's around 8 p.m. when I'm filming this, but just with priming and painting some of the walls, everything is looking so much better and brighter and I am really excited about this bright new look for the camper. So let's get into all of the things I painted this week. First off, I wanted to try my hand at spray painting the faucet in here. I had looked at purchasing a few and I thought, let's just try to paint this first and see what it looks like. I created sort of a spray paint painting tent with a recycling bag, some painter's tape, and some wood that I took off of the dinette that I had taken out of the camper. You could also remove a faucet if you're doing this, but it was seriously stuck hard to the sink and all the plumbing was really tight. So I thought if I was going to try to remove it, I might break it. So I made this little sort of tent, taped everything off, and then used this spray paint. This is Rust-Oleum Metallic in pure gold. I'm also using the spray paint on other parts of the camper as well. I thought this color would give the tap sort of a glam look that I'm going for for this camper. Like spray painting anything, it's always a better idea to do a few light coats rather than one heavy coat. It's the day after I spray painted this faucet. So number one, I am very proud of myself for waiting this long because usually I don't wait long enough for paint to cure. And second of all, I'm really excited to see if this turns out. So let's see. Yeah, look at that, look at that. That is like the perfect crisp edge. I am thrilled with how this turned out. Like look how crisp that is and the finish is so nice. I am so happy. The only thing that I need to fix is there's a little bit of overspray here. I missed this area, but I think very carefully with a knife, I can scrape that off. Ah. Oh man, it looks so good. After some careful scraping and scrubbing, I was able to get all of this overspray off of the sink. I'm gonna keep the sink as is because I actually like the white look. I removed all of the handles off of our old camper because I wanna reuse these for our new one. I used the same spray paint, the Rust-Oleum Pure Gold, and I made sure to wipe all of the handles with some degreasing cleaner. Again, I'm spray painting them in light coats, about three to four light coats, letting them dry all the way in between. I also grabbed one of the storage bars from Ikea from the old camper, and I'm gonna spray that gold as well and see if it's going to fit anywhere in this new camper. 
I find hardware can add up in price, so reusing the hardware from our old camper helped save a little bit of money in this renovation. I like the color of this Rust-Oleum Pure Gold a lot and think it's going to look so chic and glam in this new camper. So here's the color Rust-Oleum Universal Metallic in the Pure Gold. And I'm also going ahead and spraying all of the hinges that I took off of the cabinet doors. I was considering leaving these the silver color that they were, but I thought spray painting them gold would give them that beautiful matched look. Now for the dinette in the camper, I removed all of the pieces of wood that were on the right hand dinette here. And then I also removed the brackets for the table. I'm still deciding whether I want to keep this style of table, which I don't like at all because I'm not going to be using it as um, a bed. I'm not going to be folding it down to a bed. So I might use the brackets or I might not use them and get a whole new table, but I'm putting them aside for later. I'm also removing this entire dinette bench. I'm probably going to be rebuilding this a little bit to make it look more modern and reusing it and putting a bench in this part here so I'm just taking it off of the wall and the floor and moving it to the side for now. That way I can get behind it and do all of the painting. I'll give you a little preview of how I'm painting the walls in here. I'm wiping them down with a degreaser and then I'm using a latex interior paint and painting all the edges and painting the walls. I'm going to go into this in more detail in my kitchen painting video where I'll tell you exactly the paint that I'm using, the steps, and how I'm prepping the surfaces properly. All of the different surfaces in the camper require different prep work. I'm loving how white and bright this is looking already. I think removing any of the brown is going to help the light bounce around and make everything look so fresh and clean. Last week I removed half of the dinette and then I accidentally removed the sofa as well. Um, I knew I had to remove it anyhow for painting, but it was a beast to move. You might remember the struggle that I had. I still have flashbacks of the struggle. And then you might remember that got me thinking about the flooring and whether I should just change all my plans and just do the flooring now at this stage. I want to thank you for all of the comments that you left on last week's video. They really helped me come to this decision. And that is that I'm going to go ahead and replace the flooring. So I'm going to be painting everything first because I don't want to wreck the flooring. And then I'm going to be putting all new flooring in after I paint the walls and prime and paint all of the kitchen cabinetry. I did a lot of research and I found my favorite flooring was Costco Canada's vinyl plank. I found it to be a really good price for what it was. I love vinyl plank for a camper. I had it in our last camper. It is very easy to clean, plus it looks great. I went with this whitewashed flooring and it was essentially what I had in my first original mood board for this camper. So I'm gonna go for the dream flooring because I don't wanna be taking things out, putting them in again, taking them out, putting them in again. I think that's counterproductive and probably isn't gonna save me any money in the long run. This flooring was around 249 Canadian a square foot. I did buy quite a lot of it because I wanted to get enough for the entire camper. So it was a bit of an expense, but I know that I'm not gonna regret it. As far as that big old sofa, which was terrible to remove and as soon as I looked at it and saw how much dirt and dust was between the sofa and the wall and the condition of the foam, I just knew that it had to go. So I've been researching a few different replacement options. They do have to function as a potential guest bed as well since we're losing the function of the dinette. We don't need that as a bed too. So I thought maybe just getting a futon or a day bed or something in the old sofa's place would be perfect. So I guess I'm doing essentially my dream renovation, but I'm going to stick to the main living area for now. And then when we have more time and money, we can do uh, the bunk room for the kids and we could do the master bedroom uh, and the bathroom. So we're going to do it in stages, but a little bit of a different way now. I'm going to leave a few different options, about four different options here of beds that I'm thinking of, of sofa beds I'm thinking of. Let me know down in the comments below which one you think would suit our DIY camper to the best. I would love to know. 
Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of all of the painting and the decisions I'm making so far down in those comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and then you won't miss any of these camper renovation updates. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will love right up here.